What's up everyone? Thank you for being with me for another TV Tuesday. And today I have The Falcon because we're watching The Falcon and the Winter Soldier episode 3. I'm excited for this episode. Really want to see where the whole um, plot points and how they intersect or where they're going because we have quite a bit. We have the Captain America whole role with accepting, you know, the new position, his own relationship with Sam and Bucky, Sam and Bucky's relationship with each other, Bucky's whole thing about uh, Captain America's validation and Sam deserving the you know the shield as opposed to this new John Walker and then we have the vaccines and the terrorist group or so they seem and then we have the whole super soldier Hydra thing I, I just want to see how all these plot points just interact if you're watching with me if you have it loaded awesome if you're waiting to see an epic reaction with me and the Falcon get ready um, if you're here and you like the content what I just want you to do is press that button do it. If you don't, that's just fine. Do right it. now we're gonna get into it. We're a go. You navigate changes to society, laws, and borders. This feels oddly similar to what we're going through with the whole COVID situation. It's basically the perfect commercial. Let's move. Don't give him a second. This Captain America does not seem, you know, as patient or as strategic as, you know, the previous one. There's criminal named Carly Morgan. Uh, do you know her? And definitely a very short tempered, seems like. Ich habe keine Ahnung, wovon du sprichst. Die Amerikaner sind unmenschlich geboren. So sie doesn't know. Bullshit. Oh, and he's definitely breaking the, you know, curse word law. Do you know who I am? Yes, I do. And Nobody fears this Captain America. He's giving displaced people shelter and medicine. That kind of thing creates loyalty, man. I know you. He's desperate to make a name and to, you know, live up to the standard. We have a history together. Trust me. I got it. Oh, this is going to be interesting. It's their first interaction since the uh, Civil War. Jelani. Javoy. Well, these are the code words he was he was reading. You had something to do with this, which is why you came to me, which means you are desperate. Well, luckily for you. And that's exactly why he needs him. He is desperate. He blew up the UN. He killed King T'Chaka and framed you for it. Did you forget that? Too risky, bud. Too risky. What is matters to you, but Come on, it's pushing you off the deep end. They look Sam, like we don't... they're now in a Fast and Furious chop shop. You know, breaking somebody out of prison. Where are we, man? You're kidding me, the whole thing has already taken place. Whoa. Ah, whoa, 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 hey, what are you doing here? I didn't want to tell you- It's usually the whole film thing where they, they talk about what plan they're gonna have and how good it's gonna go and then it completely goes the opposite way. That's what I expected. You don't make a move without our permission. There. Okay, Zemo. Where do oh. we start? He's actually assisting them. How interestingly, Fast and Furious style. I've seen that book. It was Steve's when he came out of the ice. I told him about Trouble Man. He wrote it in that book. Did you hear it? What'd you think? Mm, <laughs> there we go with the cultural banter. The danger with people like him, America's super soldiers, is that we put them on pedestals. They become symbols. And then we start to forget about their flaws. Cities fly. That's kind of the whole principle with Batman versus Superman. The new Batman and his whole conundrum with Superman. High towns that way. Not a bad place if you want to visit, but low towns the other way. I love this whole exploration phase. Like it feels like you know those those buddy movies where they go on like road trips and stuff. That's how I feel about Sam and Bucky. Is like they're they have a very interesting chemistry. Like the two actors. <laughs> Okay, we have entered Neon City, getting a blast from the past from uh, Blade Runner. Honestly, this seems like a place where Bucky and Sam would like thrive, especially Zemo. Again, this is, seems like very unfamiliar territory with like the whole polished Marvel movies. I'm liking this. Hey, you can't break character. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, Bucky can't wait to get back and make fun of him. Didn't take much for him to fall back at the front. Then you have to wonder whether this is Zemo planning the whole thing. If he wants the Winter Soldier to like pretend like he's going back into character, but he eventually does. <laughs> Again, I've not watched WandaVision, but they're taking this places I would not have. Slow motion with Fossicle. 
answer it. On speaker. On speaker. Oh no, this is gonna blow his cover. Yeah, the bank. Yeah, <laughs> laundered so much money. <laughs> You'll see when I have that banker killed. Cash. <laughs> Sam, just I'm sorry. Right let me call you back. To Sam. Pull it off. Who's Sam? Kill them. Ooh. They're gonna pin this on us. Oh, they already have a bounty system going on. Drop it, Zemo. Sharon? I also took the wings for your ass so that you could save his ass from his ass. <laughs> like you, I didn't have the Avengers to back me up, so... Oh, man, she has done a lot. The plot just keeps getting thicker. Has to have a secret compartment. Proposal. Make me a better offer and I'll talk. Guys, we have company. Ooh, bounty hunters. Every bounty hunter in the city is here. We gotta go. Every bounty hunter in the city? And she's taking them on all by herself? I was able to isolate the necessary compounds in his blood. I was a god. His interest is just being the god. <laughs> She has no problem with people dying. She got that John Wick serum. Guys, we're seriously out of time here. No! Ulterior motive. That should be Baron Zemo's name, Ulterior motive. I always had something under his belt. I thought we were gonna go left! You went the wrong way! I cleared the way! I came out first! You're supposed to fuck- Now again, this is the best part, is the, <laughs> the buddy- the buddy comedy. It's in every action movie! Female bounty hunter, I, I have a strange feeling she's gonna make a reappearance. Going back to jail. Do you want to find Carly or not? Well, that was one hell of a reunion. Come back to the States with us. I told you I can't. Just get me that part and you promised me. You seriously think Sam and Bucky would have broken a guy like Zemo out of prison? That's exactly what I think they did. They were just as desperate for leads as we were. I don't think the show is trying to paint him as a lesser version of Steve Rogers, but I think there's something to John Walker. There's going to be a point where he has his own glory moment or like when he finally blinks. You okay? Would you guys substitute an arm for like a vibranium like winter soldier arm? Maybe I shouldn't have put it in a museum. Maybe I should have destroyed it. Or maybe you should have just picked it up and use that, you know, use a shield, melt it, and, you know, use it as his own armor. Like, form it so he never has to have a shield, and instead the, sh instead the shield is just what he wears. I don't know. Can you do that? That would be cool. Like, retrofitting the shield to his armor. You've had six months worth of supplies just sat there in that building. Don't you understand? We're fighting for our lives. Put your seatbelt on. There's still people in there. This is the only language these people understand. You're kidding me. Oh, she went as drastic. I'm gonna go on a walk. What do you guys think? What is a better TV series? Like the one um, Star Wars is putting out with The Mandalorian or what Marvel is doing with, you know, Falcon, WandaVision. If I'm being honest, I love Mandalorian season one. We have the Wakanda connection. Okay, thoughts on episode three. Uh, great continuation from the first two episodes. We have a lot more characters from the Avenger timeline. We have Sharon, we have Zemo, obviously. At the end, we have the Wakanda connection. Everything is moving forward. I like the fact that, you know, Marvel is going to kind of uncharted territory with, you know, the whole Blade Runner kind of thing with the whole Majipur. We're slowly uncovering some parts of the certain beats and within the whole Marvel franchise, the, the guy who was making the so super soldier serum how he worked for the cia and then eventually he started working for the power broker the thing that's keeping me like interested in it and like continually watching it's not really Mo john walker like plot line that's waning down a little bit but the whole right now the new plot line with zemo 
I think is actually really strong. And then now we have the Wakanda connection and everybody, you know, has these butting heads with Zemo because of what he did at, in the Civil War. But again, I think the strongest thing thus far is Sam and Bucky's relationship, their whole banter as in, you know, again, the whole uh, buddy cop duo thing. It's awesome. You know, the more we get into it and the more we um, learn about the whole Hydra angle, I, I actually kind of liked Zemo as well. He's he's actually kind of a fun character. It's like different all Mar like Marvel has swords. Like Marvel, Marvel is like a blanket. It's like a perfectly sewn blanket. You have all these threads and they're all just slowly interweaving. And I use, I never used to give it props, but I do now. It's awesome to be watching this every week. I hope you guys are having fun as well. Let me know what let me know what you guys want me to check out after this. So these are the TV series I'm thinking about so far. Mandalorian season two. We have a Division, WandaVision, Sopranos, never seen the Sopranos. We have The Wire, never seen The Wire. Curb Your Enthusiasm, by far one of the funniest TV shows I've ever seen in my life. And I know Big Willie loves Curb Your Enthusiasm. I know Falcon enjoyed this episode. Can't wait to have more Falcon action. Looking forward to the next episode. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are staying safe. Put up two and say E.